not just another city tour. This is the important part of the logo. Okay. What makes Why it... is it not just the same city tour? You know, I can do this without you. Okay. I'll answer. Nice. <laughs> you just... out. Great. You've been working hard today. Can we get a coffee for Christina? I'll take over. I'll just be napping over in the corner. Go ahead. Please tell us how your tour is different than any other city tour. What a challenging question. <laughs> it's on your shirt. <laughs> oh my, I should know the answer. <laughs> yes, you well, should. Well, I would say three different ways, Christina. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the vehicles in which we travel are very different. Of course, we travel in zebra stripe trucks, buses, Land Rovers. The places we go are extremely different than any other tour company. We don't hang out in, in Fisherman's Wharf and Pier 39, which are great, but something you can do on your own. In fact, we don't even go through Chinatown. Mm -hmm. Chinatown's best experience on foot. It's amazing, yeah. Why would I want to take a valuable tour time going there? Why? I'm asking you a question. Why would you take Why valuable? Why would I want to do that? I because the food is fantastic. That's it. That's yes. Good. Yeah, people would go there. And thirdly, the way in which we travel. It's mm -hmm. spirited. We sing. We tell jokes. Trivia. Wait a minute, you sing? We sing. Everyone sings. What is it that you sing? Would you sing with me? I'll sing with you. Give me a hint. Okay. The Company Song. Oh, I know this one. I know this the one. The Company Song was written in 1937 mm -hmm. in Zimbabwe. Mm hmm I think you and I were there at the inaugural singing of it. <laughs> yes, that wasn't me. Miriam. And maybe great-great-grandma. <laughs> wasn't me. Miriam Makiba sang a great version of it, but I think we can outdo her right now. You want to start with the Owimowa? You start Owimowa in. Okay. Owimowa, 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 Owimowa. In the jungle, Owimowa, the mighty Owimowa, jungle, Owimowa, the lion Owimowa, sleeps tonight. Owimowa, Owimowa. In the jungle, <laughs> the mighty <laughs> jungle. That's the hot. The lion sleeps tonight. That's beautiful. Okay, I think we're losing viewers. Please don't go yet. No, we have so much more to ask you. So give me a typical tour. Okay? Well, a typical let's, tour we'll just goes... take off right there. If okay. I, if we had a version of that song at the beginning of a tour like that, okay, which is while we're showing people the swimmers at the Hyde Street Pier, okay, the amazing phenomenon that people go out and swim in. Freezing, uh, cold, freezing cold weather. weather. Yes. 12 degrees centigrade for your international viewers. Is this broadcast internationally? <laughs> <laughs> they will be, yes. 40, 49 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, we, we then go up right around the Buena Vista Bar, which you know to be... The home of the Irish coffee. 1952, Stanton Delaplane was the first Irish coffee there. Yay. If we sing the song the way you and I just sing it, uh -huh. we will pull over and go in and have an Irish coffee. Wait a minute, so you're driving around people that have been drinking with pith helmets and a zebra-colored... Sh zebra uh, Land Rover, that's crazy. At 9 o'clock in the morning. This is at 9 o'clock. Why have I not been on this tour yet? I want to go on this yeah, tour. You, we need it's to getting come. better and better. <laughs> okay. So then again, we, we would, uh, you said typical, and I kind of laugh in, inside at that. I can laugh externally as well. Watch this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> there's, no ex, there's no typical <laughs> tour. I research what's happening in San Francisco that particular day mm -hmm. and ensure that we do something that's unique that's only, for instance, we were at the, the opening of the Octavia Street off-ramp. Oh, really? That's right. We were there. Were you the yeah. first truck there? We were the, the first, first truck there. We were. Uh, we had a tour that ended at night, the night before the uh, earthquake celebration, and we stayed till 5 o'clock in the morning. Wow. On the inauguration day, I had 12 people on board. I picked them up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Wow. And went to Yerba Buena Gardens, and we saw the inauguration. That was the start of our tour. Wow. It was awesome. How amazing. Very, un very untypical ways of seeing the city. So you must have a story of something really bizarre that has happened driving around in that yeah. truck. Just... <laughs> we attract bizarre. Okay. Well, we I, woke gee, up ready for bizarre. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, it took place in an alleyway on the mission. Okay. <laughs> which is where a lot of strange things take place. I'm describing one of the beautiful murals. Mm -hmm. And out of nowhere, around the corner comes an eight-foot pink a rabbit and a Wait person a playing eight... a mandolin. Yeah, an eight-foot pink rabbit. And five guys dressed in Elvis tuxes doing a music video. <laughs> Just another typical day in San Francisco. Yeah, they put us in the video, of course. And did great. you tell all the, the people on the tour that, you know, that's just very typical for San Francisco, don't mind the big pink rabbit? Exactly. Ah. No, I just, they think I did it on cue. I press a button and people start appearing. Oh, okay. All well, kinds of wonderful because things. Because you're happen. magical. Yes, thank you. So, um, there's one thing. Now, why, they won't let you go down Lombard Street. Because you mentioned there's another crooked street. Why won't they let you go down Lombard Street? Everyone's seen the little sign that says, no vans or buses with eight or more people in them. Okay, but your tour is how many people in the back? Well, we have, a, we have a vehicle that fits 40, a vehicle that fits 26, one that fits 8, and then one that fits <laughs> 12. Okay, 12. 
Okay, so either way, you're going to be over the limit. We're over the limit. But what my interpretation, I'm not a lawyer. I don't okay. even play one on TV. But let me just ask your view on it. It doesn't say no zebras allowed, does it? No, I'm not Okay, that so I saw. we're going. <laughs> Great. Are you um... probably opening an invitation for the SFPD? Follow <laughs> That's the right. zebra. Follow the zebra. I was just kidding. We obey all traffic rules and regulations. Okay, I Fully doubt insured. It. I doubt it. <laughs> licensed by the Public Utility Commission. Are you aware that there's actually a uh, little monkey sitting next to you? Are you? I've noticed. Is that a monkey or a chimpanzee? This or is what? a chimpanzee. Okay. Named Labelle. That okay. means the beautiful. It's kind of the mascot of the company. Not very talkative, but cute. What do you think? You know, LaBelle hasn't got a word in edgewise. So LaBelle wants Daniel's to say something. just on and on and on. He's really funny. He's great tour guide. <laughs> nice. I think he put words in his mouth. I'm not really sure. So, um, Daniel, have you ever lost anyone on tour? I mean, did anyone, you physically lose anybody off no, of the No, we've never, trip? we've actually, in fact, just yesterday, we waited for someone for an extra half an hour while they took the wrong boat back from Alcatraz. Oh, no. But I did almost lose someone in the sense of I almost throttled their neck, that's not a good thing to do. But this young man, he was 18 years old, and he was yelling at his mother on safari in the first half hour. So we took a little extra stop, and I put my arm around him, we went for a walk, and I said, this is no way to treat a, a mother who brought you to San Francisco, and if you do that again, you're going to end up as a wheel chuck. So he got, <laughs> nice. he got the point. You know, here, you know, in all seriousness, uh, like Dr. Phil, <laughs> Dr. <laughs> in a pith helmet. That'd be great. <laughs> nice. I see a, I see a, a new show coming out of this. <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, was a management consultant and trainer and executive coach for 25 years. And the thing I loved about it more than anything was just the interactions with people. And I just carried that over into this. So my, my, uh, my little zebra stripe land rover kind of becomes a rolling therapy office sometimes. People want to work things out on vacation. You know what I mean? You know, you could have two clients at the same time there um, if you just let them lay out on the benches oh, in the back. Good idea. There you go. Rolling therapy. That Excellent. could work. Put a little pillow. <laughs> I like it. I'm sorry well, our time is up. 15 minutes left. Our, <laughs> our time is up. I don't know. I'm feeling very Vegas tonight. I don't know. if Maybe it's the helmet. Okay, I'm going to take the helmet off because it's sweating. That's supposed to keep you cool, but it's actually making me sweat. That's just because of me, I think. This, <laughs> this happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Dark is sure and go ahead, you're on. Awimawe, Awimawe. I'm so back on the Awimawe. So where do you want to take this tour? Where is the next step? Is it going to be a whole fleet of ur urban safari uh, uh, trucks just driving around the city? I'll, I'll have five vehicles out on the streets this summer. Five vehicles, five vehicles. wow. And Se who, uh, who? Seven tours a day. Who leads the other tours? Is it just you? I'm just, cloned. I'm cloned. You know the UCSF Center down Mission Bay? Oh, yeah. They've actually come out with a way of cloning me. That's amazing. In fact, I'm that's... not even here. I'm at home. This is a clone. That's very scary How am I doing? to me. <laughs> it's very scary. <laughs> Knowing him, that's very scary. You know what? I have some very, very talented drivers. Uh, I have a young man working for me right now that just came back from three years in Europe, Croatia, Switzerland, and France doing long tours, and he's brilliant. And uh, two other guides right now. And we're interviewing, in fact. If you're interested in a job being a tour guide in San Francisco, Tell them. There'll, probably be some, <laughs> there'll probably be some information up on the screen to contact me. Yeah, your <laughs> website's right under you right now. Cool. Very good. And uh, so finally, is there some place that if there's one place that we as San Franciscans haven't seen that you have to go see, you know, beside your tour, is there some place you can send us to that's so amazing that most people don't know about? I would say yes, there is. And you have to take care of the safari oh, no. to find it. <laughs> He's such the salesman. One place and just one place. I'll give you one. If you like um, Mexican food, go to El Toyanes. I think I'm pronouncing it wrong. The taco trucks down on Harrison Street. They're Amazing great. carne asada, yeah. soft tacos, $1.50. Hey. Fantastic. Can't, you know, can't beat that. La Taqueria, 24th and Mission, of course. Okay. But food-wise, give us some little nibble, something, something to tide us over until we get on your trip. I will just say again, in the spirit of exploration, I want you to find the tiled staircase in San Francisco. Oh, it's there's gorgeous. a tiled staircase? 163 steps, each one hand tiled to look like a scene of a river coming into the ocean. Fantastic. Wow, I don't know, I haven't found those yet. Come on board. Okay, come on, board. come on board. They are weekdays, weekends, when is the tour? All the time, 24 hours a day. Really, we go out, no we do, I know that sounds crazy, but I have taken midnight <laughs> tours. We ended up in the Castro district uh, at a bar at midnight last week with six Australians. Oh my God. Very typical tour. Funny, so me. did I. No. <laughs> I thought I saw. Yeah.